Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Ellen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Meet the Grabbers. Yes, we are back here once again, two weeks in a row. I think this is a record. So, where were we last time? Last time, poor Ellen lost her battle to boob slaps to nil, so she's just cleaning up after that, and I think, to be totally honest with you, she needs to... Uh, take a, a bit of a break from this so what I'm thinking is let's, uh, let's actually uh, go and get her some food she can do a little bit of a shopping and uh, perhaps we'll find one of the adventures to go on but tomorrow back to the gym get a level see if she can get herself up in the rankings because let's face it this is important to her and she has plans for the future that are going to involve her learning the arts martial. So let's get the ball rolling and see how things are going. And hope she stops singing somewhere soon. I don't think I've seen that one before. Who's that? Who are you? Stop running away in a comically uh, fashion. Shan Wei Chan San Kei Chun Paparazzi. Okay, Paparazzi. Uh, well, when Damien comes on one of these holidays, we'll worry about you then. Uh, right, she's feeling better. Let's think of a place to go. Earn level, learn a level two Chinese visa. Yes, I've got that. Okay, let's go and have a quick look at the shops. So we can get something to eat, and perhaps do one of the adventures. I think we've done one with her already. Uh, if I remember right. This place should be all opened up. This place is all opened up. Right, okay, we've done that one. Good. Ellen is on her way to the shops. I think we've probably tapped her out today. So we'll uh, you know, pick up some stuff tomorrow. What is the time, by the way? Hmm. Nearly 8pm. So, yep, it's been a long and eventful day for young Ellen. And she just has some time. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to buy in here. Buy items. And then we'll get her something to eat. It's that one, I think. Yep. Buy items. Come on, Ellen, where are you? There you are. Embarrassed for walking in on someone. Fatigued from all this athletic activity. Hungry. Disgusted. Ooh, yes. Somebody hasn't cleaned up the plates. It's not good, is it? Ellen Rabiner has visited China's Forbidden City. Okay, right. Zork. Sometimes I think I'm too English. I feel uncomfortable um, interrupting them. Yes. Okay. I was seeing if we could get her um, to buy a tent, but uh, the two-person tent is a bit more we can afford at the moment. So, anything we need here? Hmm. Right, we've got those already. Um... No, nope, I think we're done. Okay, right. I'll have to come back when we've got a bit more money for a ch uh, a tent. Damien is just going to have to wait. Alright, let's get the ball rolling. Okay, so... A cold one with a straw. Okay, that's interesting. Never drink alcohol through a straw. Never a good idea. So, what would you like to eat? Have an empanada. I got one. My oh, items. Oh, ah. And yeah, it's good. Good idea to go to the inventory tab if you want to see the inventory. Eat. There we go. I'll get you going. Free 
Right. Do we have anything we can sell? Old Chinese bowl. Want to keep that? Want to keep that? Yes. Nothing much special. Let's just drag it in there. There we go. All right. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that camera. There we go. Never going to use it. So why keep it? Thinking about that. Get rid of that scrap as well. There we go. Right. And as if by magic, her inventory is cleared. And it being Enlin is going to read something. What are you going to read? Hmm. Raimundo the Dragon. Okay, right. I think we'll call it um, quits here for the evening. I'm going to get her read her book, rest up. And in the morning, we are going to head out. And... Ooh, one. Somebody's telling a ghost story. I was wondering what the sound was. Yeah, okay. We'll catch up in the morning when we get back into our training regime. See you all in a bit. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, Anne didn't have that great a night's sleep. And she's still feeling a bit tired this morning. But here she is practicing. And she's going to give herself a new belt. A better belt. And then the challenge. I'm going to tell you this. I don't lose well. I don't lose at all. The challenge is on, bitch, and you're going down. So, here comes fighting words, I think. Let's see how we do, but uh, get that last little bit of a level first. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, someone else sounds like they're having fun. Oh, here he is. Oh, cutting, uh, chopping meteorite boards, and not very well by the looks of it. Okay. Okay, so, what have we done? Put in through to a martial arts skill to level 7. Right, let's get that challenge on again, shall we? Smartphone, call sim. Let's challenge spa tournament. Let's see how we do. We want to get gonna get a couple of uh, uh we're gonna get a couple of wins out of here before she goes back if we can, because that uh that'll give her a real confidence boost, I think. So are you gonna come over? Are you gonna come over and have your buttocks prodded? Uh yep. Okay, excellent. Right, it's time for you just uh, jump in the shower quickly while you're waiting, because Let's face it, you don't want to get all hot and sweaty while hot and sweaty now, do you? And we will watch Val Louie. Go on. You can do it. You can do it. Or perhaps not. Say something I don't know, guys. So if anyone's going to stare this piece of rock to death, it's her. Right. It's him, rather. Why aren't you? Why aren't you showering? Why aren't you showering? I want you to shower. Someone in there. Ah, okay, that explains it. Someone's in there. All right. Okay, you're gonna have to get all hot and sweaty while hot and sweaty, I suppose. Who's that? No, nope, paparazzi. And everyone knows the paparazzi can't be masters of the martial arts, so it can't be. Alright, can you shower now? Yeah, I think you can shower now. Right. Speed things up a little bit while we're waiting for your challenger to turn up. I assume, of course, they're turning up. Which is always a fun thing with this game. They get change their minds and they get bored. They decide they need to go to work. Okay. Ah, there she is. Have a little meditate. Okay, so. Amusing greets. Give them amusing greets. Yeah. <laughs> 
Double grammar. <laughs> yes, the old spilled cup of something or other. Um, yes, always. Ellen is fatigued. Ellen is not fatigued. What's going on here? Oh, uh, well, let's let them talk for a little bit and see where we go with this. Because it doesn't look fatigued. Oh, dear. It's got to be one of those, is it? Right, let's get to know her. Um, right. Get to know. Friendly. Discuss adventures. Friendly. Chat. Right. Well, I hope this isn't going to be a problem because we don't actually have much time left. This is day two of a three-day excursion. Oh, she's sleepy as opposed to fatigue. Oh, what can we do about that? Is there somewhere we can have a nap? Yes, somebody's having a nap on it. That's coincidence. That's convenient, isn't it? All right. Um, there you go. Right, go and have a nap, and we'll see what we can do with you in a little bit. In the meantime, you seem to be getting oh dear. back away from the terrible music. There you go, have a couple of hours nap, get rid of that moodlet. And then we'll see if you can do the challenge. Alright, that's gone. You've got a really positive mental attitude at the moment, so... And then Gravner is fatigued. Okay, this is annoying. Looks like we're losing this day. Yeah, she's gone. Okay. Right, just go home. Just go home. Oh, that's disappointing. Right, day three is going to be the one. Day three is going to be the one where she prods butter. Come on, you can do it. Uh, let's just follow her as she zips across the town. Did that just that just rubber banded? How oh, odd that just rubber banded. This is not even an online game. Hmm, okay. Right. I'll get you some food. Empty your bladder and put you to bed. And we'll try this again in the morning. You have all day. Give this a try. So uh, have dinner. Have an autumn salad. Let's see, let's get this healthy because you're 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 in training at the moment. She really, really wants to spar with Jean. So, who are we to deny her? Go on, you can do it. I was hoping to get two matches done, but looks uh, looks like we're only going to have to do the, be able to do the one, which is disappointing. But uh, um, as time goes by, and will be able to stay out here for longer, and you know, all this. Oh, she's eating with chopsticks there. You see. I wonder what they use mm. with soup. Mm. 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 I'm not not the Chinese. I mean the Sims. All right, so right, use and then off to bed with you. So we shall sleep through the night, and hopefully you'll be in a better state to do this in the morning. But first thing in the morning, we're going to get you up and about and put a challenge in. And I suppose unless something interesting happens, I'll see you guys then. Right, it's time. Clad in the traditional grabbing a battle garb of a fuzzy pink pajama suit, Ellen is ready to take on the world. So let's do this. Let's do this. Call Sim. The challenge spa tournament contender. Let's get this done this time. You can't be fatigued. You've just got out of bed. And yes, everyone needs to block the door when making a phone call. Of course, how stupid of it. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Right, so that person will be coming over. Let's grab you a quick bit of breakfast, because... Yes. 
Um, just have a quick meal and have some have some cereal. There we go. And hopefully we can get this fight over and done with, and have a little bit more time just to do something different. Because I mean, it's shame, it seems a shame to come all this way and do nothing but practice, doesn't it? There she is. There's our victim. Sorry, our, our noble opponent. Who's that? Li Yuan. Yes, relative it would appear. Okay, so. Um, amusing greet. Looks like she's brought an entourage this time. Why, it's sure, little woman. I'm so confident now I can beat you in my pyjamas. Uh, like sims that pass in the night. And now, simless logic says that they need to chase up the stairs. Good. She's hungry, that's going to make things easier. Let's try this again. Amusing greets. Uh, Alright, challenge to us. Match. There we go. Right. That looks like the whole family's here, actually. Oh, so just help yourself to the food. Go for it. I'll just stand here staring blankly at the world. Why don't I just get changed while I'm at it? So, um, there you go. Do. Yeah, do the, the the martial arts cliche. Have it over meditate while you're waiting. There we go. She's had her had her food. Now let's challenge to a sparring match. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. Yeah, it looks like the whole family turned up and are eating the food. Soon dab again, huh? Ah, soon oh, dab again, indeed. Well, somebody likes the idea of fighting. Here we go, right now. Admittedly, she has an advantage because, yeah, there's, there's far more boob to slap on Ellen, but ah, I'm sure she could do it. Come on, give it a try. This this time it has to be serious. Oh, kick to the belly! All oh, right. Can can Ellen can Ellen pull her way back? It's best of three, remember. Come on, Ellen. Everybody, you're a cheer on. You're a cheer on. Yeah. In your best, Ellen voice. Going, you can do it. You can do it. Go on. You can do it. Go on. Do it. Oh, you've studied, studied, studied. You can take her on. Don't let that bitch give you a slap, okay? Right, I think that's one all. Yep. Mm. They're going so fast, they're getting particle effects now. Well, either that or it's a visual glitch, one or the other. I'm going to go with particle, particle effects. Come on, Ellen, you can do it. No. Oh dear. Well, at least you got the spa. Okay, we promise you to learn a new recipe, and well, you did your best. That's the important thing. So, why don't we get you an opportunity? Let's do one of those before our time is up. We have to go. We've got about half a day, so let's hope it's a short one. Okay, check for adventures. I'm Ellen Graven. I don't often lose, but I've lost this time. And I'm telling you, I'll be back next time and you will suffer. You've been warned. You will suffer. Uh, right. uh, what have we got? What have we got? You! There! Stranger! 
Greetings, my name is iPiePie. Okay, I require an outsider's assistance in a particular matter I'm not quite ready to discuss with you. I promise you will be ultimately worth your while. Please explore the Dragon Cave fully. I don't know what you'll find. Just that you will find it. Oh, how very deep. Except, and I think I played this one before. It's probably going to take a while, but let's go and do it anyway. Right, to so the Dragon Cave. Never quite understood why it was called that, but never mind. Let's get up there and see what we just find. Hmm. I thought these sort of things were traditionally skulls on the side of a mountain, but never mind. Vacation will be over in 12 hours. Don't have much time to explore, but explore we will. Asking out all these opportunities. Inspect. There's probably loads and loads of things to pick up that we went past on the way up there. But quite frankly, don't care. What's this? That's just just detail. Right, what have you found? Wow. Hey. This did I keep that outfit? I think this requires a different outfit. Gone. You changed. Go on, you can do it. Hey, right. Go here. Ellen Jones is back in business. Seem to get in a pose. Um, no, we can't get in a pose. Okay, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. There, yeah, like that one. Um, Let me get those thought bubbles out of the way. There we go. Right. Yes. Indiana Ellen is back in business. Okay, so right, down you go. Use the stairs. Let's let's start this adventure. Get the ball rolling. Okay. Uh, there you go, there's uh, some examples of Rare ancient Asian snooker tables now unfortunately overgrown. Such a shame, really. People have just let this place go to pot. And right, if we pull that one, we should be able to get in back there. And I believe there is, yeah, there's a door here as well, which is going to take us to the other adventure, but there's a nice little bit back here which uh, I seem to recall. There we go, and inspect that. And collect that. Mm, I think yeah, we do have a distinct disadvantage here with Ellen. I mean, there's this whole defense against the boob slap thing. It's, it's, just, it's just impossible for her to fight it, you know. It's a... It's just such a large target. Yeah, let's be honest with you here. Uh, but, you know, all this, these martial arts trainings have given Ellen some really, really interesting ideas, which you're going to see over the next few episodes. You have been warned. So let's grab these coins and 
inspect that. Found a secret door, discovered a secret door. Coins, 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 coins. One of the things I have disliked a lot about the uh, the Sims is the fact they give you the same message in several different ways. It's just sloppy. Come on, you can do it. How much time we got left? We got well, we got a fair bit of time left. Um, there we go. Secret door open. And there's going to be another one there. Should be able to see the pattern by now. Does mean that we can get into play on these ancient snooker tables if we want, but I think that's something else that Ella's going to enjoy more up here. Yeah, come on. You can do it. Just push where the big sign that says push is. Gone. Mm. Yes, in it is now. Thump it. Open. There we go. Righty ho, and grab those coins. There's not anything there, so let's just dig this down. Clear. This is going to be all good work on her athletics as well, so it's just going to make her a better martial artist. Inspect that. See what we find in there. Oh, well, looks of her stats, whatever is in there. I hope it's got a shower. And here we go through into the inner sanctum, which has got something Ellen's really going to love. Lots and lots of books, but we'd we'll loot that chest first, and then we'll find her something to read. Uh, so gold ingot and a broken bowl, which is worth a little bit. So we'll have those. And tell you what, let's not have one of those. Let's see what's in here. Read. Um, no. Nope. If there's any skill books in here, because that would be nice. No. Nope. Somebody left a cup behind. For some reason. I don't know what that is. Let's collect. Oh, it's a gem. Let's collect it. Read. How to handle fireworks and lesson. Uh, sim food, jumping kicks. There we go. That'll do nicely. All right. Okay. Now you read that book, and that will probably keep you going until. Hunk of metal, lapis lazuli, and an impressive forty-one simoleons. I think that will probably keep you going until it's time for you to go home. So that's another secret door. Never seen that before. I never noticed that. You gonna take the book with you? No, you're gonna put it back, aren't you? Uh, yes, you are. Right, let's find this secret, secret door. Never seen this one. This is completely new to me. And she opens it with the traditional let's thump it until it gives away technique. And what's in here? A hole. Use the stairs. Hmm. Hmm. Ancient Chinese barrels. Excellent. All right. Collect that. And let's go through this door. Ooh, what do we have here? Hmm. Right, let's view that, and then let's... Ah, oh, that's all adventurers should do. Let's loot this place to the bedrock. Collect. 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 Yeah, she likes that. Any hint of secret doors around here? Yep, there's a hint of secret door around here. So it looks like 
I was just planning on having her sit and read and we cut out there and pick up next episode next week, but it looks like it's not to be. Come on, you know what you're going to do, okay? You're going to poke and prod and look at this and you're just going to thump it. So why don't you just thump it? Start start the way you mean to carry on. Come on, give it a thump. Boink, there we go. I suppose the artist don't need to thump it in the right place. Open that one up. Oh, good on you. Alright, new stuff. Alright, let's get that down first. Ooh, lots of sarcophagi. You just know this is going to end with a rather embarrassing meeting with a mummy, don't you? Right, speed away through that. How's she doing? How's she live? Nearly time to go home anyway. Yeah, you can do it. Okay, good work. Look inside. This is this is the, the fine when she finds a, a, a mummy and her only weapons are her armpits. Ooh. Ooh. And we've got a treasure, low quality dried food. Well that's actually quite convenient, I would say. Maybe two thousand years old, but eat the stuff nonetheless. Hell, I've got older stuff in my uh my fridge. Right, I'll have a quick look at the other one. Not much time left, but I think we'll get a few of these explored. Let's hope we find something a bit more memorable than a, a few uh, thousand-year-old uh, sausage rolls, because yeah, that would be rather embarrassing, really, wouldn't it? Hmm? Okay, that was nice. Apparently someone had left the lights on in there, though. Uh, let's clear that one. If you're not going to keep up, still, look at all this athletic, wonderful athletic training she's getting. Alright. And let's have a look in here. When an Ellen sets out to do something, she doesn't stop until it's done. So, do you have the lights on here? Yep, somebody left the lights on there. Ellen just found a, a money bag and a rather noisy sound effect. I just can't quite get the balance right. I think we can get one more in, so let's clear that. And then let's look inside there. Right. Okay, Benzo indeed. got in here come on 17 ancient coins not that impressive but still fun nonetheless I'd say how much time we got we've got about an hour and a half I don't really think we've got time to do this but let's do it nonetheless so pull that one and let's go and look at these last two so we'll view look inside that one so this has been a nice little treasure room and it's been an interesting one for me because like I said I don't think I've ever seen this one before Oh, no, that's not good enough. So pull that one. Uh, oh, dare not um, there we go. And why aren't you letting me push? All right, pull this one first. Pull. It's coming to 11. We've got about an hour left, so it's a rush to see whether we can do this. All right, okay, I see why. We need to pull that one one more. Uh, actually, we don't, because we just need to push. Apparently, we do. Pull. Will you let me now? Yeah, you will let me now. Come on. You will. You will, I tell you. There we go. Right, and... We can't push it but we can pull it let's see if that's good enough 
Uh, no, so give that one a push and give that one a pull and that'll get us in there. Not that one, you fool. This one, pull. Come on. 20 minutes, can we do this? Can we do this? Look inside, come on. Get one of these done, I'll be happy. Hmm. Get one of these done without finding a mummy, I'll be happier still. No, time's up. Okay, well, let's return home. We'll have to see. Oh, it looks like we found what was in there regardless, so. Right. Ellen's heading back to town. Disappointed, but, but determined. So, next couple of episodes, we're going to see what changes this has wrought to Ellen in her, her many adventures. And how she's going to deal with it, how she's going to move ahead. And I think, to be totally honest with you, it's going to surprise you. And in the meantime, we shall see Taluda finding herself a date for the prom because she's a rebel. And Damien, well, Damien's just going to find more and more interesting places to entertain his ladies. We'll just leave it at that, shall we? So, I hope you've enjoyed this rather weird and eclectic episode. I'm sorry about the lack of any real story or indeed success. But until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Meet the Grabbiners. Thank you and good night.